Here it is, Port Marifa, the gateway to the world. Huh, for a gateway, I thought it would be bigger. We can get ships here, that's the main thing. Right, about that. What does everyone want to do? I dragged you into all this, and none of you owe me a thing. <sighs> it's okay, Zebe. I appreciate everyone's help, but we're through the sandstorm now. None of you have to stay. But I need to figure out what this Kala thing means. Find out about my own power. I... I don't even know all the stuff I need to figure out. Ajna, you are the grossest, most disgusting person I've ever met in my life. Everything around you turns into a disaster. I... I guess you're right. So, obviously, I'm coming with you. Bomb is too. He has to come because he's mostly dead. Aren't you, you little idiot? Oh, thanks, Razmi. Right? Am I thanking you after that? Whatever floats your boat, buddy. You saved me in the desert. You said you'd help me find out what happened to my brother. I'm coming. <laughs> but you leave me alone, Razmi. No lips. Ginseng? Well, this is a lot more dangerous than I expected, but... You can't become a world-famous botanist without some risk. So, I'm coming! As am I. You still haven't fully recovered, and you need a guide as your power grows. And someone to buy you cute dresses and do your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Oh, absolutely nothing! Just for fun. Didn't your mother ever fix your hair? I didn't really know my mother. <gasps> no. Well, an Almushan braid would look lovely for starters. <laughs> well, thanks everyone. I really appreciate your help. Oh, but Zebe? Right. I want no further part in destroying the world, thanks. I've done enough to help the charade. I'm with you only until we find a boat. Well, where a protector goes, so too must I. I understand. I'll make sure everyone who wants to stay finds a boat. How's that? Fine by me. Wait. May I speak? Better make it good. This is the big who stays and who goes conversation. And I'd prefer that you go. I know. I know most of you don't like me. And you have good reason. I did... kill Ajna's father. I thought I was doing it for the good of the world, but Ravanovar had blinded me. He raised me since I was a boy, and he spoke so lovingly of the new world he would create. I had no idea he meant to destroy it first. And I had no idea the deeds... Acts we committed were done in the name of destruction. How did you not know killing innocent people was wrong? I was told they were blasphemers against the gods. But in truth, I have no excuse but youth. And yet you are younger than I and committed no such atrocities. Ravanovar told me the heretics we dispatched would be reincarnated in paradise and live a better life but I had never stayed behind after a battle. I'd never had to see the consequences until now. Apologizing isn't enough. I took someone precious to you, and I can never bring him back. Please, Ajna, let me offer my services to you as penance. You don't have to like me. I don't. But let me be your sword. I have no purpose. I have nowhere to belong. Please, I don't want to become some mercenary for hire. I know I'm asking even more of you, but I want to try to do something good. Let me help you save this world from destruction. Well... Don't do it. He's the worst. Yeah, he is. But maybe he deserves a chance. For what it's worth, he is being sincere. I'm... I'm gonna consider it. But listen, Dar. From now on, you're listening to me. And if we find someone who needs help, we're helping them. No discussion. I am yours to command. I will not complain. And... Thank you. This conversation got weird. Yeah. Whatever. Let's get going. And thanks again, everybody.
Watch yourselves, outsiders. Huh? We're not doing anything. Yet. Rosmi, shush. Make sure you tread lightly. This area is under the Iron Kingdom's control, and we won't hesitate to jail any dissidents. Like you took my breath. Mm. Shh, Kadira. Who? Us? To see what? <laughs> nah, we're just casual. I've got my eye on you. That was close. Keep it cool, will you? I'm sorry. I just hate them so much.